Yo, what up, internet? Welcome to Bricks and Beer, episode 74. I think that's the one we're on. Uh, cheers, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Uh, tonight's beer, today's beer, wherever you're at, is Complementation. I think I said that right. It's a hazy IPA. Um, I've been drinking a lot of hazy IPAs lately. I feel like that's the the flavor du jour, if you will. I've talked about this on the last couple of episodes. Um, this is from Trader Joe's. You know, it's a uh, Trader Joe's beer, Campanology Brewing. Um, I guess they're in Wisconsin. Uh, you can find this at Trader Joe's. It's cheap. It's good. I like all the beers that Trader Joe's kind of does in-house in general. Um, and we're, we're kind of limiting, obviously, supply runs right now because it's the apocalypse. Uh, cheers, everybody. So, uh, Trader Joe's, they've, they've got figured out. We're going there. You know, they're keeping it safe and all that shit. Um, so we're drinking a lot of beer from there. Uh, so yeah, today's episode, tonight's episode, wherever you're hanging out watching this, is going to be kind of a, a short one. It's a little bit different. Um, before we get into the meat of it, uh, I just kind of wanted to like reflect on some content making shit, I guess. Uh, so the last episode actually is the first time in a while that I've done anything with like editing, meaning like two videos put together. Um, I think it's actually pretty cool because it's much better than me trying to do this um, especially for some of the stuff I'm going to show off in this episode and episodes beyond and stuff. So hopefully it's not cheating. I still feel like we're unprofessional as fuck and authentic. Um, and yeah, if you've never seen the show, you know, it's your mom's favorite podcast about Lego and beer. I drink some beer. We look at builds and other shit and hang out. Um, so yeah. So today's episode is going to be about one of the two mini fig displays that I have. Um, it'll be kind of like a quicker one. That's one of the things I'm trying to do as well is just kind of condense these a little bit so it's not just me rambling as much. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad. You guys tell me. You tell me what you're, you're thinking of this new format. Um, anyway, so I'm going to show you a display. It's on a wall, so I got to switch to another camera and we'll take a look. Um, it's it, it was part of the, the grand plan to do the collection tour, so I'm just going to do it in chunks, and I feel like this is a good one. Um, and it's, it's, you know, it's mini figs. Love them or hate them. They are what they are. Uh, so I'll see you on the other side. All right. So figs. So this is a fig display. It's on a wall. It's got some mini figs. We'll take a look at them. We'll talk about them. Uh, but before we do that, let's just take a minute to talk about this display itself. Uh, first of all, this is like super awkward to film because it's in kind of like a weird part of the house because it's in this corner next to a doorway with a window. Um, so forgive all the glare and all that. Uh, but the actual case, the actual shelving itself, I didn't make this. I bought it. I bought it used. Uh, it was from an estate sale down the street, and there was a really interesting lady who apparently lived in this house. Um, and she had a giant library of Shakespeare and was a collector of various knickknacks, and she had a fuck ton of these. They were like... I want to say like 10 of these. Um, so I only grabbed a couple. I grabbed another one to put on the other side of the room and it ended up being the wrong size. So I gave it to Jeff. Uh, but I'm guessing she had some sort of knickknacks or something on these. But they work perfectly for fig displays. Um, so her mojo is in my life now. Uh, she also gave me, or didn't give me, I guess posthumously gave me for money, uh, a couple of these, which are the old style Sterilite drawers. This is like the smaller wall of Lego. See, giant wall of Lego, smaller bits. This is sloppy. We gotta just close that up. Pay no mind. Um, so anyway, there's two different styles or three different styles. This is like the current one in store, which I hate, which has this stupid pattern. This was the generation before, which was all right. And then this was the best generation, which has no stops, so they just slide out like butter. Uh, so anyway, I picked up a couple of these on the cheap as well at the same estate sale, so I feel like her whatever mojo is uh, still going. So back to the figs. Uh, let's just kind of run through it real quick, starting at the top. Um, one of the things when I was going to do this that I asked the bros about, I was like, what would you want to know? And they're like, why would you pick certain things to be on display? Um, so this is the Beach Bandit. One of my favorite sets of all time. Super 80s, super rad. We got uh, some astronauts. This is a pretty cool astronaut print. I really like this whole setup. 
of these guys. So that's pretty funny. And then this thing is a brick built minifig display prototyped by one Ace Kim of recent episodes. Uh, and in here are the the last wave of Nexonite bad guys. There's like four variations in here. There you go. There's a camera that you can see. Uh, so I kind of feel like these are the Ninja Turtles of the Nexonite bad guys. I'll leave you to figure out who is who among the four. Uh, so yeah, you know, dude with purple hair. Um, and then we got Rocket and Groot. Uh, they're cool. I like them. So I, I ended up getting this Groot maxi fig piece without any of the rest of it. Uh, so I figured I needed to build a Groot. And then we got the Miami Vice bro, because I love me some Miami Vice. And then top shelf, we've got Blacktron, the Neo Blacktron, Armada, uh, Wactron. This is a off-brand albino Blacktron fig was given to me by uh, the homie Carter. Shout out to you, Carter. Now working for the mothership. Um, it's super rad. It's obviously a knockoff, but it's super cool. So those are all my, my Blacktron dudes over the years. And then we got uh, some Spider Bros. I love me some Chima. And then uh, Nexo Knights. Obviously we've talked quite a bit on the show about how much I love Nexo Knights. So there's like the, the original cast. And then I got some sort of, you know, unique robo minion soldier dudes. And then we've got one of my favorite themes of all time, which is the Egyptians. And I actually have two shelves of them because I have so many. This is one of the few things that I went heavy in on. Um, I love these dudes too, these new Ninjago guys that just came out. Uh, the Cobra guys, they're fucking rad. Um, so yeah, you know, mummies. Uh, don't get the mummy, he unravels. Uh, Snake Bros, also Chima. Ninjago hybrids, um, a mariachi band, because some uh, future cyberpunk samurai, you know, characters. Uh, I got the elves. I imagine they're super obnoxious because they're super arrogant. Uh, Ninja Turtles, love me some Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtle bad guys, including Krang, you know, because he's a brain. And then uh, I love these dudes in the suits. Uh, if you've read any of the original Ninja Turtles stuff, the uh, the Krang robot brain in a body thing is not unique to him. It's a whole race of dudes. So i uh, got to have them. Oh, we missed the classic space guys. There you go. Here's an angry Benny. He's he's seen some shit, you know. Uh, and then we'll, we'll jump down here to Star Wars. I'll stop moving the camera around so it uh, starts looking better. Uh, Empire, fucking bounty hunters, need a goddamn Zuckus, fuck you Lego, why'd you have to put it in the most expensive set? Uh, there's my boy Vader, these actually are, uh, this is a chrome Vader, so he's kind of fancy. There's a white Boba Fett back there, shirtless mall, those are kind of expensive I suppose. And we got, uh, some samurai dudes, these are, uh, some original takes. On some samurai dudes, this dude's apparently super blown out, so you can never see what his head rub looks like. Um, it's daytime right now, so the lighting's a little strange in here. There we go. Uh, the Ninjago movie figs. Um, I'm probably gonna ditch these dudes and replace this cubby with something more unique, but I have them because I love the bad guys from those movie sets. So there's a bunch of fish bros and shark dudes. So good. So good. These are so funny. Um, they're just awesome to me. I, I love this take. And then because we've got fish dudes, more fish dudes. And this is uh, mostly Atlantis. And then uh, some alien dudes. This was from a Keith Goldman whack lug hangout party time deal that we did with a bunch of aliens. I built a biker gang. That's what this is supposed to be. Um, so it was like an alien biker gang for a party, which was fun. And then we got more aliens. Um, all kinds of bugs. Buggy aliens. I love the sculpt on all of this line of figs. Um, including the little, like, scorpion minion guys. They're, they're pretty fun. Um, there's a, a jar of bugs. If the phone will focus. There we go. See? Bugs. Bugs. It makes sense. Uh, and then we got pirates. Because who doesn't love pirates? Come on, focus. There we go. 
Uh, so there's some pirates. These guys have been kind of poached over the years. Uh, they used to all have cool tattooed arm bits, and then, you know, things happened. So they moved on to other other figs. Uh, and then we got Ghost Rider. So there's an original mock. There's some, some original builds for you guys. And then uh, the dragon. I think this is the Orient Express dragon, um, which is pretty rad. So there you go. That's, that's my little fig display. I hope you guys enjoyed checking it out. Um, I'll jump back to the other Andrew on the other side of the other camera, and we'll take a look at some original Lego and then get the fuck out of here. Okay, so we're back. Um, that was pretty cool, right? Like, I think it's kind of interesting to see people's displays in general and sort of, like, what they choose to, uh, you know, put on display. And, and like, really, like, I, I don't have... It looks like I have a fuck ton of shit on display because I've got this whole thing, but, like, the reality is... Most of the stuff I build and put together hangs out on my table for a month or two or whatever, gets shown at a show, and then gets mulch or goes in a bin. Um, so it's like it to have stuff out is work and it's a pain and you have to you have to kind of like, you know, coordinate putting all this shit together and making it work and take some effort. Um, so yeah, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the figs. I do want to show you some original Lego content before we get out of here. Um, maybe inspire you to do something, maybe not. Uh, so there's a dude, Marco de Bond, I believe is his name. Uh, let me, I'm going to do the thing. I want to show you something on the phone. It sucks. Um, so he's a dude on Instagram, and he built this super fucking awesome mech. It's 85 millimeters tall, which is like teeny tiny it's greatly articulated super full of detail super rad so 85 millimeters is roughly nine bricks tall so here's a dude here's nine bricks this feels good to me this feels real good to me so you take a take your little dude and you take your nine bricks and you you, you know, you build a little environment for for a dude and a, a nine brick tall thing. Oh, removable parts, action features. Um, so this is just a, a quick little, you know, hanger deal because you got to have a nine brick mech, bros. Nine bricks. Ah, oh, so good. So good. There you go, nine bricks. Um, so this is just a fun little build. Uh, I mainly built this because I just wanted to build like a hangar, build a little environment. And uh, you know, I love mecha and I love giant robots and shit. And like, I like building really kind of micro scale stuff lately. I feel like this is such a good size and a jam to do something. Um, and it's quick, you know, like obviously this took me no time. And then I built a little mech to go with it, and I'm definitely going to build more. Um, he's got kind of a cool collar with the, the car fender piece there to give him some protection, I guess. Protect your neck. And then he's got an old-school camera piece for a gun. So all this is kind of like half-assed. Like, he's not amazing. Um, the articulation definitely could be slightly better. He's, he's got, you know, shitty single-jointed knees and stuff. Um, but he's, he's a fun little build, right? So I encourage you to build a nine brick mech. It's a fun challenge. Uh, shout out to Marco de Bond. Build a space plug, build a nine brick mech. You're trapped inside, what else are you gonna do? If you want, build a fucking hangar. Build a whole little deal, build a, a scene. Build a, dude, build a bunch of them. Build a hangar for a bunch of them. Fucking go crazy. Uh, so anyway, yeah, you know, build yourself some mecha, some micro mecha. Uh, while I was building the Micro Mecha, I've been really into just building, I guess, humanoid articulated things. So this is a little dude. He's like a little robot action figure humanoid guy. He's very emotive. Uh, he also only has single hinge elbows and knees, um, which is kind of shitty as well. But he's got, you know, all the human things where he, he, he just emotes well. Um, and he's fun. And it's also, like, super minimal. Uh, there's not much to this, you know? It's a couple of hinges and nothing nothing fancy. Um, I guess there's a snot bracket there. for the, the the ab crunch, the waist swivel, is, like, such a key component of this guy. 
working and being rad. Um, one thing that I hate though, so like I love this crotch piece, but why does it have a tail nub? Like I get it, because like things need tail nubs for things with tails, but like now he's just got a bunny tail and that's weird. Um, so I could redo this with like a snot brick and some microphones and stuff. Um, but I kind of just liked his weird tail nub. Maybe I'll get rid of it. Uh, hold on, I'll show you. I'll show you what it would look like if I do get rid of it. Uh, so behold, be jealous. Be jealous of my many microphones. And uh, you can be less jealous of my, my snot brick collection because it's going to take me a minute to find one. This is, this is kind of the problem with the snot brick sorting is that all the one by one snot bricks are in just like a massive thing. So it's, uh, it's a pain in the ass. Um, so yeah, so like, this is so, oh, I just figured out why I didn't do this. So this is super compact, because it's, you know, basically three studs wide, super narrow. You can stand at attention, very robotic. This, which I thought was gonna solve my problem, is wider and does not work. You have a uh, big old, big old baby birth and hips if we go with this which is not gonna work. So I guess he's just gonna have a Peter Cottontail vestigial rabbit uh, Playboy bunny thing, you know, cause that's what you do. Um, so anyway, this is episode 74. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Uh, let me know if this is cool. Like the, I talk to you and then I show you something that's not me doing this. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm putting in some effort. What else are you gonna do right now? Uh, anyway, cheers, be safe. Build a fucking nine brick mecha. Build a build a space slug. Build something. Do something. Sort something. Clean something. I don't know. Stay sane. Be safe. See you in the future.